All right, hello everyone. We're at a different perspective today. So, hi, Gigi, of course. The cats are gonna love the fact that I'm down here on the floor <laughs> and they're bugging me. So, that's my TV in the background. Okay, so I mentioned in recent videos that I was gonna start trying to do some workouts and I've been lacking the motivation and I haven't been doing them, although, I have been finally walking. I've been walking around my complex and uh, at least trying to start being more active outside of just work. Um, so I've been going out with my fiance and one of my friends and we've been doing some walking together, which is good. Uh, nothing like crazy. We go out for like 30 minutes at a time, but I figure, you know, 30 minutes is 30 minutes. That's a start. But I found a workout. Hold on. I'm I'm actually on the YouTube app on my TV in the background that's up here. So if you see me looking up, that's what I'm doing. Um, but hold on. Ooh, cozy fall fireplace ambiance video. Not me quickly going and adding this to my, my favorites. Hold on, how do I do that? I don't use the app on my TV too often. I just watch YouTube on my phone usually. So save to my favorites. Perfect, we like that. Okay, wow, cause cozy fireplace video. It's fall, it's... Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to find my favorites on here right now because I favorited a video that I wanted to try. So there we are, it is. I'm gonna post the link to any videos that I am following down in my description. Uh, because I want other people to be able to check these people out, especially if they have good workouts. And that way you can try it too. And, you know, they get the credit that they deserve for their videos. So this is from Haley C. And it is a 10-minute slim arm workout. Burn flabby arm fat all seated no something. I can't see. Hold on. I'm going to click it. And let's see what the rest says. All seated no what? We're just gonna watch these ads. She's making her, her bag. All right, another ad. Oh, this is a long one. Anyways, I have some flabby arms. Look at this, look at that. And getting my Friday the 13th tattoo really made me notice that, <laughs> like extra. So we gotta get rid of these wings. And I really want to start doing some sort of workout aside from what I've been doing. So I figure why not do this arm workout? And this girl is so fit. Like I want to be this, like aspire to be this. So I might have to cut out some of the audio at the beginning of this just because I don't want to run into, I don't know if this is like a copyright thing. I don't do a lot of like videos and video type stuff or you know anything like that on YouTube because I don't, I don't want to steal people's content and I don't want to run into copyright issues on here. So, but we're going to try to give this a go. All right. She's already starting. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Intro. All right. I'm going to let this play and I'm literally going to do this. I'm going to let you know how this goes. This is, it's only 10 minutes and we're going to see, excuse Gigi's butt. She does have very slim arms. Okay. And I want this for me. Okay, she's like sitting. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna move back a bit so you can actually see. What is she doing? She's going like this. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm slow, I feel like. We're gonna do this. Think Slim Sarah. Slim arms. So it says at the top, um, like what workout, like what we're doing currently. Uh, there's like seconds at the top, right, on the clock, so you can actually see how much longer you have to do this for. And it says what the next move is. So this is a sky push, apparently. Okay. Whew. This looks like so easy when I'm looking at her on the screen. Rest for a few seconds. Okay, but like, I can feel that like right here. Okay, the next what is she doing? Hold on. 
push up to the sky and touch your chest. Then push up to the sky. Make sure that in a straight line and squeeze your arms and stay squeeze our arms. Oh my gosh. People, let me know. Like I I must really like be even more out of shape than I thought because this ow. 20 more seconds of this. As hard as you can, you can do it. I can do it. Thank you, Haley. Think slim, Sarah. Think slim. Oh, now rest for a few seconds. Okay, I'm sure we're going to feel that. Close. Thumbs down and extend your arms to yes. the side. Make sure that your thumbs are facing downward and bend your lower arm without moving your upper arm. Are we starting? There's something on the clock. Oh, she's just showing us to make sure, like, we're doing it correctly. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. This is arm extend. Man, this is rough. <laughs> Why am I already dying? This, I'm just bending my arms. Okay, good. It's not just it's not just me. She's making like the squinty faces. Make sure your thumbs are facing downward. Come on, we are almost finished. We're almost finished. Come on, Sarah. Just gonna get right back to it again. Gigi's cheering me on in the background. Last few seconds. Yes, now catch your breath for a few seconds. Okay, for the next one, also put your thumbs down, but this time move your arms up and down. Now we're doing this. Ma'am, I might start flying away. I, I'm working with real wings here. Ow, oh my god. Oh my god. This burns. Keep going. I'm hoping that each day I do this, it'll get a little bit easier. But it is like right across here is very, very painful for me. Thank you, you're amazing too. Imagine you're hitting some of your hates at the back. This is an elbow strike. Move a little bit faster. It's a power to it, she said. Move a little faster. The moving down in this part makes it feel like I have a oh it helps me get through it. I don't know if this music is gonna cause issues or if I'm gonna have to like mute this. Press for a few seconds, okay. I'm switching sides so that you guys can see. You can stay still if you want. Use your body slightly forward okay. and extend your arms to the back. Ma'am, my arms <laughs> don't touch behind my back. <laughs> she's she's clapping her hands behind her back, like clapping the backs of her hands like this. And like my the tops of my hands don't touch behind my back. All right, we're clapping. We're clapping our fingers behind our back, cause the, the tops of my hands don't touch each other. My feet are numb from sitting like this. Hold on. Oh, we're gonna move back to this. All right. Come back. All right. We're doing this thing now. Arm circle. I'm like trying to breathe when she's breathing. Yes, <laughs> we have the last exercise left. Okay, so for the next one is quite similar. We put our arms to draw a circle. This time, what do we do? She's doing like this, this thing. Are you ready? That's hard. seconds left. Just keep doing this. Slim, fit arms. Hang in there. Oh my god. Come on, Sarah. We're almost done. You just gotta get through this last one.
Your arms are burning. My arms are burning. Thank you. Wow, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stretch it out after your workout. Stretch it Otherwise, you're going to be so sore, like me. I did this workout so many times before I film and yesterday I couldn't even lift on my arms. So don't forget to stretch. Once again, I promise you, if you do this with the previous arms workout, you would... If she's fit and she's saying she couldn't lift her arms up after this. Although she's saying it's because she didn't stretch properly, so. All right, pausing. Thank you, Haley. See? Now, 100%. So, this is my first time at all trying this video. <laughs> and, I mean, you can feel the burn for sure. So, I'm assuming, you know, that's a good sign. If you don't really feel it, it's probably not the best. Um, but, 100%, when I look at this first time, I'm like, oh, it's only 10 minutes. She's just doing the whole, you know, all that stuff it's rough like I feel it up and around here on both sides but you know the way I'm looking at it is if I need to take a break for like a second there and just to help and then get back into it again just get right back into it again um that's what I'm gonna keep doing and I'm hoping that as I keep doing this I'm gonna keep trying to do this each day but I'm hoping as I keep doing this you know, it'll get easier and easier and I might get through this whole thing without having to stop and prevent passing out. <laughs> but I mean, like I can feel it. I can feel that that like did something, um, worked out muscles that I, I never work out most likely. So cool. But you know, it was 10 minutes. That is like a nice, easy kind of workout to just throw in. Um, even if you're like me and you don't have a whole lot of time between work and everything else, I mean, 10 minutes, you know, instead of like scrolling on your phone for 10 minutes, maybe fit this in. If this is something that, you know, you're trying to work on like me, if you're trying to get rid of your, your wings like me. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to try to keep up with this each day. I'll be transparent with you all if I don't keep up with it. Uh, and I want to let you all know how this keeps going and I'll show you if I have any results so I guess in case you know we're gonna do like a before and after because I always forget to take like before and after stuff I didn't even really take photos in the beginning of my weight loss journey this time at all and I'm like oh, I really wish I did because I can't see my progress in the way that I kind of want to I guess I can look at my videos but I film like from here up normally so you can't really see my progress the same way Except from like my face and you know my arms now that I'm hoping will slim and get toned up a little bit um but yeah I mean let's see if we can change that now so here we are here's the before I'll show you what we're working with and I'm wondering how much of this like I'll be left with even after losing weight because I see a lot of people lose a decent amount of weight and they have a lot of like loose skin in this area and I'm kind of curious how much I will have as well my belly for sure I have a lot of loose skin in my belly I've already mentioned I think that after I lose all my weight the plan is to try to get like uh I know insurance will cover in situations like a paniculectomy excuse me which is not the same as a tummy tuck it's basically when they like cut the like the apron area of your belly that kind of hangs like over your pants normally that area uh, they like kind of cut that off and restart Stick everything back together again just to get it rid of all that excess skin just because it can cause you know infections and things like that underneath it and other issues um but you know i also love the idea of a tummy tuck as well the whole problem is that a tummy tuck is considered a cosmetic surgery and insurance doesn't usually cover that so we're gonna go for whatever insurance is gonna help me out with um but i have seen paniculectomies paniculectomies look awesome on people so yeah, we'll see as it gets closer if i get that far it's not an if sarah it's a when you get that far then i'll i'll look into that further um and then yeah i'm kind of wondering i have a lot of excess skin on my inner thighs as well now my legs i'm not one of those people that have you know like a really big like torso and like i you know i just put on all my weight up here and then you have like these skinny legs like i know some people are like that some people think that's a lucky thing some people don't like that at all <coughs> for me I'm pretty even um, I have big chunky legs and 
I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm thick up and down everywhere. Um, I don't just carry it in like a single spot. It's pretty even on me. So I, I'm not sure what's going to happen with my legs later on, but I do know I have all that excess skin on my inner thighs and I don't think that that is something insurance will take care of. I think that no matter what, um, that is a cosmetic surgery, which it just sucks after losing all that weight that that's a whole other thing you have to worry about. But, you know, I have to keep in mind the fact that, um, you know, this is a health thing. I am losing the weight to be healthier, to be, you know, more active and to hopefully avoid certain health issues as I get older. Right. So that's, that's the most important thing overall, but you know, I do like most people want to look good afterwards. So we'll see when we get there. Um, but yeah, so, um, two thumbs up so far on this, this workout. I have read through some of the comments and people are saying that they are seeing like positive results from doing this. So that's awesome. I'm going to try to keep up with this. Um, we're going we're gonna to start one thing at a time. The walking is something I do want to stay on top of. And then I'm going to stick with these arm workouts. And then I'm hoping with time we'll be able to interchangeably do some other workouts as well. You know, baby steps. Otherwise, I feel like I'll never get anywhere <laughs> with exercising. So maybe this and then eventually I would like to do maybe like every other day and doing some sort of other workout. Uh, whether that's like cardio or, you know, something else or like I really used to love yoga. I have still like a yoga mat and some yoga supplies and so potentially getting back into that again. Um, so we'll see. But good start. Good start. And like I said, I will post anytime I'm doing any of these workouts, I will post all of the, the link and information down in the description box below so please make sure to go check out the people making these videos because you know they are they are there to help us and that makes me very happy and i'm always looking for recommendations too on you know other people i should be looking into this girl's like you know she is very kind of like motivational with how positive she kind of is she like kind of you know, as you keep going, she like throws in a remark here and there to just, you know, push you that little bit, which is really nice without feeling like she's, you know, bossing you around or, you know, um, and I do, like I said, I like that she states, you know, what the exercise that you're doing, which one's coming up next. And I like that she has like the little timer at the top of the screen. It's really nice to just, you know, get that visual, like how much longer do I have this thing that I'm doing right now? And so... That's excellent. So, um, there we go. That's that. As far as my, I want to give a quick weight loss check-in thingy. I know it's only been five days since my last one, but we're going to stay on top of this now. Um, so my weight is still hanging out around the same. Um, it's just the high end of 182 to 183 right now. Um, I will see a bounce all the way up to 184 again, like within a day or two which tells me that that is not my actual weight. That can be water retention or constipation, unfortunately, and things like that. So I'm gonna stick with like 183. I'm gonna say it's 183, but I know my lowest was like 182.5 in that. So yeah, I try not to get discouraged when I see it jump up a tiny bit, as long as I know that I've been doing what I need to be doing. Uh, and you know, especially when the weight comes on that quickly, like if you see like you gain two pounds in one day, chances are you haven't actually gained two pounds of fat in one day. You probably eat something like extra salty or you, you know, you're just not going to the bathroom the way you should be. It can be anything like that that can cause that to happen, which is why a lot of people don't recommend weighing yourself daily uh, and doing it weekly instead. That being said, I, I do weigh myself daily <coughs> because it actually gives me a realistic view of how often it goes up and down and it helps me kind of deal with that more and I also get to see you know realistically what my lowest lows are and what my highest highs are on my weight so I can you know I just have that full view of everything now if you're somebody who's super obsessive about the tiny bits of weight gain and 
that negatively impacts you to the point where it's going to set you back in what you're doing in your journey, then I would probably refrain from weighing yourself daily and just do the weekly. And if you do weekly, I always do it the same time of day, um, which is always like first thing in the morning, right after I go to the bathroom and pay attention to what you were wearing or whatever. So try to wear something, you know, either the same thing or wear yourself in like, just your undies or like naked a lot of people just just strip down and weigh themselves completely naked so that there's no variability as far as you know the clothing weight and everything like that so it's my tv is oh <laughs> the roku like screen thingy came on uh but yeah so <sighs> hopefully that was helpful i'm gonna have to learn how to like edit and do these videos so hopefully we'll that'll be a little smoother in the future uh i hope everyone's doing well though and doing well on your journeys let me know how you all are doing uh and of course i hope everyone's staying healthy and happy and i'll see you all again very very soon